On his upcoming trip to Kenya, President Obama stated his intent to pressure the anti-gay President Kenyatta on his homophobic record. BuzzFeed explains, White House Press Secretary Joshua Ernest said Monday that President Barack Obama would not back off LGBT rights when he visits Kenya later this month, despite calls from senior Kenyan politicians that he steer clear of the issue. Joshua Ernest states, I'm confident that the president will not hesitate to make clear that the protection of basic fundamental human rights in Kenya is also a priority and consistent that we hold dear here in the United States of America. When the president travels around the world, he does not hesitate to raise concerns about human rights. Now, credit where credit is due, President Obama, for the most part, and from a comparative standpoint, he does have a fairly decent record when it comes to human rights. Now, he does have sway in a lot of other countries as well, which is why I think it's very important that he utilizes his bully pulpit and uses his power and prestige to pressure these um, homophobic governments. Now, I want to really reiterate what Joshua Ernest said. He says when the president travels around the world, he does not hesitate to raise concerns about human rights. Well, unfortunately, that wasn't the case a few months ago. Take a look at this video. Will you speak about the blogger to the well? The you, you know, I, I think on this visit, obviously, a lot of this is just uh, paying respects to King Abdullah, who, in his own fashion, uh, represented some modest reform efforts within the kingdom. Um, but we have maintained a sus uh, sustained dialogue with the Saudis uh, and with all the other uh, countries that we work with. You know, what what I found effective is. Uh, to apply steady, consistent pressure, even as we are getting business done that needs to get done. Uh, and uh, oftentimes that makes some of our allies uncomfortable. Uh, it makes them frustrated. Um, sometimes we have to balance our need to speak to them about human rights issues uh, with immediate concerns that we have in terms of countering terrorism or uh, dealing with regional stability. Uh, but the trend line is one that I will sustain throughout uh, the rest of my presidency, and that is to make an argument to those friends and allies of ours that if they want a society that is going to be able to sustain itself in this age, uh, then they're going to have to change how they do business. So now, the person who Fareed Zakaria is referring to in the video is a Saudi Arabian blogger known as Raif Badawi. What he did was he made a blog post calling for free speech for atheists, and he critiqued the Saudi government, and he was locked up and sentenced to 1,000 lashes. Now, what's more is that the Saudi government is so peeved by him that they actually are currently seeking to extend, or actually not necessarily extend, but to make his punishment more harsh and they want to now sentence him to death. And just know that the Saudi Arabian government, their human rights record is so bad that Raif Badawi's lawyer was actually arrested and sentenced to 15 years in prison, I believe it was, because uh, Raif Badawi's lawyer actually called for international pressure against the Saudi regime in order for them to release Raif Badawi, because I think that free speech is a human right. We can all agree on that. So the problem is that Obama... Sometimes he's great on human rights, but other times he's willing to not say anything. And as you can tell by the video, he was really uncomfortable when uh, Fareed questioned him because it's something that is a little bit contradictory. If you are going to really tout your human rights record, as Joshua Ernest did for President Obama, well, then you've got to be consistent on it. You can't say, well, this country, you can violate human rights, but in this country, you're... You can't do that. <laughs> See, another problem with Obama is that he's currently negotiating the Trans-Pacific Partnership. Now, when you look at states such as Malaysia or Brunei, Brunei, they kill gay people. They have Sharia law. They implemented it about a year ago. And Malaysia actually has literal slaves. But yet, he's willing to do business with them in spite of their horrific human rights record. So, Obama, this is great. Credit where credit is due that you want to pressure President Kenyatta of Kenya but you got to be consistent. Do it elsewhere because it's something that the international community will actually like and it'll help contribute to your record as a human rights activist.